All right, guys, Old Master P is back. It's been about a year since I've built anything. Uh, built a couple bikes, mostly surrounded around razors and minis, uh, but I think it's time to build a go-kart. So I'm gonna be going with full big flotations. Got the QS138, I'm gonna be putting on it. Same platform as this bike with the 138 and the Votal EM200 controller. Uh, I've been riding this for two years, haven't had a single problem with it. It's big and bulky and it's older. You gotta plug it in with a USB. It's not all uh, Bluetooth, but um, you know, if it's not broke, don't fix it. So I'm gonna be using the same setup on the go-kart. It's got a solid axle, it's originally electric. Uh, the main thing is I'm probably going to be tilting the seat back, putting my feet way out front. I'm gonna be building this frame up for like a platform for my feet. Um, and then, uh, yeah, just taking it from there. All right, guys, so I went ahead and cut this frame here because it was hitting when, uh, with the bigger tires. So now it does hit the lower frame, but the, it's a lot more steering travel. And then I thought this could bend since it doesn't have that support anymore. So I went ahead and used this piece, welded it here. So there's that support. There it is. All right, so I went ahead and cut this here and here. And what I did is I spun it around and then, so now it's backwards, brought it down here. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and cut here and weld it here because that gives me the uh, space I was looking for here for my legs. I'm gonna cut these plates off. Only thing is, is now this is a little bit lower. So there's a little bit more movement on the top end since this is a lot lower, but the height of the uh, steering wheel is the same. So I think that'll do it. All right, so I'm using the stock tray here that hold the uh, stock motor. I went ahead and cut it about halfway down. I drilled some holes here and here, and I got some spacers inside because the actual mounting for the, for the motor is about here, but the box is much larger. So I got just the right spacing so that it lines up with the sprocket correctly. Uh, and then I went ahead and added this bar here and also this bar here just for extra support so it's got six total supports but that's pretty much figured out so i got the frame upside down here uh there's just a couple spots where the welds on critical areas like where the front uh wheels mount there's just a little sketchy they're not very thick they're kind of scattery uh, so I'm just gonna go over all like the, the the weak points that I think it's gonna have the most damage okay so the go-karts upside down we uh, went ahead and reinforced with some welds here reinforced the rear axle with some extra welds now I'm gonna put some sub bracing um, the whole front is like caged so I, I don't think the front of the uh, frame will bend but once it goes past here uh, I have a feeling all of it is on this one bar. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put a bracing here. Run a bead along this whole thing. Just to help out with some of the weight. All right guys, so we got the motor figured out as far as mounting and position. Uh, the battery just came in. It's a 52 amp hour Amor battery. 72 volt so now we're going to be building a, uh, a half box around the whole bottom with this steel and then i'll be lining the whole bottom and uh bottom section with foam it's going to sit in and i'm just going to put two straps to keep it from coming out the top but the battery is like perfect size it's going to be about the same here for the seat So now it's going to be just fabbing that up. Also, I'm going to be building 
with this steel stock. Um, a little mount that comes off of here, and a mount that comes off of here, and then I'm going to be mounting the controller above here, probably four or five inches off. And then the wires are going to come up directly into the controller. And then from the controller, the wire will come hook up to the battery. So everything will be right there. That's the plan. All right, guys, so we got the seat. It's a little bit bigger than I anticipated. Um, so I just got to make it work, you know. Got to cut these sides off in order to get it to fit. Uh, the only problem with that is now it's kind of taking a little bit of structural like integrity out of the uh, frame. So I might have to go ahead and uh, double up um, these tubing, just maybe from here to here, here to here, just two underneath. Um, just some bracing just to keep it from uh, flexing. But yeah, work in progress. Always running into something, but that's how these DIY projects are. All right, guys, we've got the main seat rail mounted. Um, I'm going to be adding some cross bracing here, here, some here. And then I went ahead and removed all these little loops. They're all over the whole thing. And they were all over the whole front uh, because they put this net over it that wrapped through them. Um, but no need for those anymore. They would actually would hit my leg here when I'm sitting. Uh, so once we get the seat completely done, we're going to go ahead and start building the whole front end out. Uh, for my feet and the pedals. There it is. Okay, we got the seat mounted and it's looking absolutely huge on this tiny frame. So originally this piece of metal here was on the back as like a roll bar and attached to a lot of the section that I cut out. Uh, I'm gonna reuse this, so it's already nice and bent. And uh, this is gonna be the start of the front end where I'm going to build a little platform with the pedals because I'm 6'3 and uh, there's no way I could squeeze my legs anywhere over here but yeah that's the start of it All right, so I modified this to get this to fit here. Uh, drilled these bolts, that's my mounting bolts for that. I got all that lined up and figured out. Now I'm uh, actually figuring out how I'm gonna be mounting this. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna run a, a metal cable for the brake line that comes back here. And then it's gonna be on an, uh, a pivot, an actuator. So as I hit the brakes with the cable, it sucks this in. Uh, because I think running this all the way up front and then running a really long hose uh, is just bulkier and it just won't look as good. Um, so I'm trying to keep it simple and keep it all compact back here. Um, another thing is I noticed there wasn't much weld on this right here. So I went ahead and just cleaned that up. I'm going to run a bead right in there because for whatever reason they just, just got sloppy with a lot of the welds. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and reinforce um, this mounting plate for the motor. As you can see, the welds, uh, they're just a little bit here, a little bit here, a little bit here, but they're just missing a bunch. Um, and since I am putting such a, a torquey motor on here, uh, same thing here, look at that. Just a little bit of here, a little bit here. So I'm just gonna run a bead along both of these. There's this little mini support here. I'm just gonna build this up a little bit as well. Um, but yeah, just trying to anticipate any future cracks or bends and just reinforce it now while it's all apart. Okay, so got the throttle figured out. Went ahead and welded this little piece here that holds here. Put a little wing off of here. Went ahead and made a little stopper here with a uh, bolt. 
and then I had to add a little stopper here as well. But yeah, basically it converts the cable into electric with this. There you have it. Throttle's figured out. Here it is. It's all done.